Hi guys! Welcome to the third part of this three-part tutorial, where I present how to create this architectural visualization from start to finish using 3ds Max software and the Corona Render Engine. If you haven't watched the first part, the link will be in the description below the video. This is where we ended up the last time we worked on camera and lighting. The plan for today is to find the right color palette, create photorealistic materials, place the assets and think about the storytelling. For this image, we'll choose a split complementary color scheme. In this visualization, we use orange from interior lights, blue-violet from the sky and blue-green from the trees. Everything else will be in toned out, desaturated hues. If you want to learn about color harmonies, you'll find more information on my YouTube channel. The link will be in the description. Let's begin with the water material. We'll use a Corona physical material. Just drag and drop the material to the material editor. We can use the preset from the list. Apply the material to our C. As the C is never perfectly flat, we need to add some waves. The easy method of creating them is to use a thin XFD ocean texture. It is an infinite, non-cyclic procedural texture for displating a water surface. Start interactive rendering to see how it looks on render. You can see that the waves are already there, but let's zoom in to see more details. Use 2D pan zoom mode in the camera view. You can see that the results are very good and we didn't have to change anything. If you want to create a different effect, you can explore the map settings. Now, let's work on the water in the swimming pool. We can copy the previous material. Apply the new material to the object. Double click on the map and let's adjust the settings. We definitely don't want to have waves here. We can lower the control by wind speed value. With this option, the wave height and speed are automatically calculated according to the wind speed, so we can easily control the effect with one parameter. Let's see how it looks on render. Great, I like it. It adds a bit of movement to the image, but not too much. Now, let's create a cobblestone floor. Drag and drop new Corona physical material to the material editor. This time, we'll need some external textures. As I have a glossiness map in my texture set, I change the roughness mode to glossiness in the advanced options. I drag and drop all the maps to the material editor. Now I connect the maps to the correct slots. When we use the normal map as a base bump, we have to add an extra map in between the slots called Corona Normal. Plug the normal map into the normal slot. As there are various standards for storing information in normal maps, we have to adjust some settings to get the right results. I check two options, flip green and add gamma to input. Ok, now apply the material to the object and let's use interactive rendering to preview the image. You can notice that the height of the stones is not too visible, let's adjust the displacement settings. I reduce the minimum level and increase the max level value. This way, the displacement will work in both directions. Ok, looking good. Now, I like to make the material more glossy. We can control it by changing the amount value in the Maps Options settings. If we reduce the value to zero, this way 100% of the glossiness value is used. At the moment, the glossiness is low, so the material is quite matte. If we make the glossiness value equal to 1, then the material will be fully reflective. Now, by changing the amount value of the base glossiness, we can make it more or less matte. Let's do 70% so it will be a bit more glossy than at the beginning, but not fully reflective. Great! I would also like the material to be a bit brighter, so let's use the color correction map to do so. I also reduce the contrast of the map. Great! Now let's create a metal material for railings and window frames. Again, drag and drop the Corona physical material to the material editor. Choose iron polished from the presets list. Let's see how it looks on render, so we can adjust the settings. First of all, I like it to be darker, so I choose a bit darker gray. Also, I reduce the roughness value slightly to get more sharp perfections. Roughness value works opposite to glossiness value. To create concrete, use the same method as we did with the floor. 
find the nice textures and plug them into the correct slots. When you have all the materials applied, we can move to the placing assets. Even though we work on an exterior image, always add some details in the interior spaces store. This way we make the image more realistic and we add more character to the space we present. Choose the style of furniture you like and put them in different places to create various types of rooms in the house. When choosing exterior assets, we have to be a bit more careful. We have to think about composition too. For example, I added some lounges set in two thirds of the image to balance the armchair set at the left hand side. If you want to learn about composition rules, check out my YouTube channel for more information. You will find the links to some useful videos in the description. You can also use Chaos Cosmos to add assets and materials to your scene. Let's use it to add people to the image. When adding people models, we have to choose ones that will suit the scenario. So I definitely choose someone in the swimming suit. Maybe let's try the category standing. Here we go. She will be perfect here. As I already used her before, I have the model downloaded. I just have to import it to the scene by clicking here. I place her in the swimming pool looking towards the sea. This way, we create the story in the image and we add extra value to the visualization. If you want to learn more about storytelling, you'll also find more information on my channel. I changed the shaded color to object color for a second to make placing a bit easier. I move the model to the back. Let's preview the result. Okay, her swimming suit stands out too much and doesn't match our color palette. We have to adjust it. If we use the color correction map, it will influence the whole map, not only the suit, but also the skin. So we have to edit the map in Photoshop. Double-click on the Corona bitmap and copy the link to the texture. Open the map in Photoshop. Choose Hue Saturation, choose Greens and desaturate it completely. Do the same for Seance. Save the texture with the new name and go back to 3ds Max. Load the new map into the Corona bitmap. Here we go, it looks way better. The swimming suit doesn't attract attention as before. I like it. I show you the trick to make the 3D models look better. I add an extra light. I choose Corona light. Choose rectangle shape. I adjust the position. Somewhere here will work nicely. We want the light to influence only the woman model, so we have to adjust the settings. Click the plus icon and add the woman's model. Then change the settings to include. This way, the light will work only on the models that are on the list, in our case, the woman. Let's copy it on another side, but this time, let's move it a bit farther away. I decrease the intensity of the light on the left-hand side. Actually, the light on the right-hand side is too intense too. Nice, let me show you the difference. Way better, isn't it? Okay, at the end I add one more person. Maybe a man sitting on the lunch? Let's look for something that will work well here. He will be perfect for this. Place the model in the correct spot. Nice. Let's stop here. In the next part, I show you how to set up the render and use post-production to enhance the image. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for the new videos.